I am ready to try again with the hair dye. I still have plenty of this left, so I really, really want this to work. Um, I did it just a couple weeks ago and there was like no effect on my stupid gray hair that I've had for like over a decade now. Um, so this time I'm going to try putting lemon juice in it because I forgot that that's a way to make henna stronger and darker like when you do it on your hands. So I'm hoping that that will help when I'm doing it on my hair, which desperately needs brushing as well before I put it on. So I'm gonna chop up some pieces of this and then add lemon juice and basically do a double boiler on my stove to get it softened up, then put it on my hair and I'm also gonna leave it on for a lot longer because I think last time I left it on for two hours if I remember right. So this time I'm gonna try um, leaving it on for like four or five hours at least, maybe overnight. Um, and we'll see what happens. Another thing is, last time I really struggled with cutting it, and so I found this cheese slicer from my from my cheese serving set that I almost never use, and I'm just using that to scrape off bits, and this is working a lot easier. And then those pieces are smaller, so they're gonna melt more easily too, so I'm much happier with using this. Oh, there's, in here. Oh, there's gloves! <laughs> it comes with gloves in the packaging, I did not realize that. Probably a good idea. Um, henna never lasts very long on my skin anyway, and I don't know why, because my friend who does henna art is always like, you have such pale skin, it should show up beautifully and forever, and it just doesn't for some reason. So I don't really worry about getting it on my hands, I just wash them off, you know, soon after, and I never have a problem with staining. But it really is meant to stain. So, is that enough to test doing my just my gray hair. And a little bit more. I think you're supposed to use this entire bar um, for a single treatment, but that's probably for all of your hair, not just covering grays, I would hope. Okay, so we'll, we'll see what happens with this amount. Um, so I'm gonna put it onto the double boiler, which is to say just a mixing bowl over a pot of boiling water and stir it up with some lemon juice until it gets to be a nice sort of cake frosting uh, texture. Sorry, not just lemon juice. A little bit of water as well. Forgot about that part. Okay, the consistency is looking pretty good right now. Uh, it's actually already got some of my hair in it. <laughs> Go figure. And, um, it smells a lot like tea right now, which I guess makes sense with the steaminess and the, the plant material. So it's not, not such a bad smell this time. <laughs> so I'm going to let this cool down a little bit and then I'm going to apply it to my hair and I will not cover it this time. Um, last time I covered it part of the time with, with a um, plastic bag and this time I will not cover it at all. And then um, I will rinse it out in several hours. I look ridiculous and I have mom's coming over for a play date today and this is totally still gonna be on my hair it's 1230 right now in the afternoon and moms are coming at 4 so I will probably wrap my head in a shower cap at that point but until then I'm gonna expose it to air and hope for the best I look really silly it's the next morning and I'm still not very happy with these results. Um, still see a lot of gray. <laughs> a little bit of a tinge of darker, I guess, but it's just not good enough. So I don't know, I might have to give up on this. Um, I still have a pretty big block of, um, of the stuff left, so I guess I'll just keep trying until it runs out, but I might be going back to boxed chemical dye. I mean, like I said, I have used henna in the past and been very successful with it. Um, but this is a henna indigo mix because I wanted to get the black and not the red. So the other thing I could try is doing it as a two-step process and ordering henna 
and indigo and doing one and then the other, which is what you more typically do. Um, but what I really wanted about the Lush is that it doesn't have packaging. It doesn't have any plastic when you, when you buy it. So I really wanted it to work, but it's not looking too good.